All right, I booted up Pokemon Platinum again. It's been like three days, but I still managed to forget everything that I needed to do. So I'm heading over toward the left, toward the west side of Sinnoh, and I'm going to see if I can actually get through here. Yep. Okay, so this is an entirely new area that I haven't been at before, but it goes and loops back up. So I don't think I need to necessarily go this way. I might have to, but we'll see as things go on. My name is Brian. Did he not care that I was there? All right, cool. My name is Brian Saviano Bricks. O'Brien. hello. I'm going to try and dodge all of these trainers because all of that I can just do off, <laughs> do off camera, which I feel like I say that way too often. I'm like, oh, I could just do this later. I could do this later. I, I procrastinate. But I guess I'm procrastinating because I spent like 50 minutes recording the last episode. And it's like, you know what? I don't necessarily need to do every single Pokemon battle in existence here and catch up on all these badges and do all the other things. So see how well that goes. I believe I have to go back up toward. Oh, yeah, I actually shouldn't be going this way because Wake was at the uh, Safari. That's where I should be going. So maybe instead of even just doing this, uh, it, it doesn't affect because it is a ground type. Forgot about that one. Uh, I should go back and actually go to the Safari Zone and do that whole thing. So let me take out the Swooper, probably in one shot. E not quite. I'll expedite through this battle and go back to the Safari Zone. Oh, there's somebody in there. That's weird. Oh, why are you talking to me from there? Do I have to talk to you from here? Does my new outfit look good? It looks like something. Hey, man. <clears throat> what am I? Chop liver. Don't forget about me. So, Team Galactic... Uh... Oh. Did a... Did a, like, an explosive go off? We good? Uh, the package arrived. See, that was a... Oh, it was a... Oh, it was the bomb. Okay. Well, that certainly won't be in the new game. That's for sure. The Great Marsh is invaluable. You two do not follow me. Don't let anyone else in either. There'd be big trouble if there's any of that bomb left. Um... Okay. Don't let the Galactic guy get away. All right, so I'm going to chase after this Team Galactic guy. Yep, hi, buddy. What's with you? Stop chasing me. No, I'm going to absolutely chase you and follow you to the ends of the earth because you did... I don't know what exactly you did, but that's what the story is telling me to do. Oh, you need the energy from the Valley Windworks and whatnot. I don't know when the whole thing involving the, the lake spirits and all that factors in, but it all kind of plays into itself. Pro tip there, of course, as always, um, do not walk or do not run through the grass. Walk through the grass and you can actually pass it pretty easily there. I think I remember from the first time I was playing Pokemon Diamond, I got confused because that guy, I think he initially teleports from that area to where you're supposed to finally meet him. And it, it totally confused me as a kid. Uh, you say it was a cargo, it was a bomb, you had an explosion in the Great Marsh, sure. In other words, that is Team Galactic, yes. Uh, Looker, this is the time you made a mistake of an age as a man who I've seen running away. He was a bearer of the bomb. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. So, today is Easter that I'm recording this on. So, uh, happy belated Easter to anybody who's uh, out there. Not that you, you know, are. it's Easter right now. Um, interviewing people at the hotel. Go search outside. Okay. Uh, so I just had some brunch with my family. And that's pretty much all I've done. All day, pretty much. So now, I'm playing this. So there was a little bit of a variety of food. Nothing too... Uh, in, nothing really too enticing. There was no spiral ham. Usually that's a very, a very big um, thing for Easter is the ham instead of whatever else. So there was like this weird uh, cauliflower rice stew with broccoli and carrots and onions. It was weird. It was like tomato sauce. I don't know. It was kind of kind of odd, but I ate it and it was good. It was good. It was vegetables. It was great. So I felt pretty good about that. The main highlight was the lemon meringue pie that I had. That was pretty, pretty good. I uh, had probably too much of that. But you know what? That's super not effective. Okay. Good to know. I should have probably known that considering I've been playing this game since I was like seven. But yeah. 
Uh, that's why I'm dressed in a white shirt. I had like a a different um, like a dress shirt on, but obviously now that I don't need to necessarily dress up for these videos and look all fancy, I just have the white shirt on because that's the typical go-to look for like a not formal, casual family event of some kind is going to be me dressed with a dress shirt over a white t-shirt. So, you know, that's a standard attire. Um, I am Greek, so I do celebrate Greek Easter with my family, which basically means an excuse for the family to get together for a second time and, you know, celebrate Easter just with more Greek food like lamb, which I don't eat, but whatever. I came to research the folklore about the lake, but it doesn't appear as if the lake is open to the public now. Uh, I have heard the folklore of it. No one must enter the chamber of that Pokemon. Oh, that's right. I had to talk to you about something else. What is that something else, Cynthia? Is this your older sister? No, she isn't. Okay, no, that is not my older sister. No, not even remotely so. See you around. All right, Kirk, bye-bye. He's more impatient than he is energetic, isn't he? So getting back to what I was saying earlier, have you seen the group of Psyduck on Route 210? Yes. Um, They have a massive headache. Uh, thank you for the secret potion. So that secret potion is what I need to go past where the Psyduck are. So they're just chilling out there. And now... Due to the power of flight, I can just fly right over. So no need for me to skip ahead or anything like that. So Route 210 is bam right over here. So I can go to Solacion Town. And I believe using the power of the dowsing machine, I can find a shiny stone, which means I can evolve Tapella, which would be awesome. So let's see if that is around there. Uh, I think I mentioned this before, but like that whole string, that whole row right there is how you can hatch eggs really easily in this region uh thank you very much for getting cured and bye bye see you later any of you psyduck want to go with me i guess not they're just going to go off into the distance of whatever else cool so now route 210 is i don't know how you flew over here so quickly psyduck are known to suffer from chronic headaches but no one's been able to figure out what triggers the headaches i think it's stress actually you delivered the old charm to the grandma in celestic town yes uh, okay, I said no the first time because I was skipping through the dialogue. I'm sorry. Grandma has sort of a bossy atmosphere. I'm sure you will see her. You know, look on the map with the location. You go up to the thing. Cool. All right, so I'm going to look up real quick where exactly the shiny stone is. Uh, shiny stone Pokemon Platinum into the internet. And it can just show you exactly where it is using the power of the dowsing machine. Uh, it, it is on Route 210 somewhere. It, like, should instantly kind of turn into Route 210. Uh, and I'm gonna try to get through this grass. Never mind. I guess I'm not... <laughs> I guess I'm not getting through the grass relatively easily. Look at that, Rosalia. Hello. Excellent. All right. So it's at Route 210 south of the pit with between the climbable rocks requires rock climb. Well, I don't have rock climb, so I guess I'm not getting the shiny stone. Why is there a child in the grass? Why is there a child in the grass? That is not okay on any basis at all. Just a sw like... There shouldn't be children out and about without parental supervision. There shouldn't be children of the grass. That makes no sense. Like, like what, what parent would endorse... You know, hey, hey, little Timmy, you want to be a Pokemon trainer? How about you just go hide in the grass and surprise someone? Like, no one would say that in real life, right? I hope that you've never been encouraged by your parents to go out randomly into the, the tall grass of a wheat field and surprise a farmer in a ninja outfit. Like, you're not a pro gamer, okay? You can't dress as a ninja and surprise random adults out of the tall grass. That makes you a weirdo. Don't be a weirdo. If there's anything you can be in life, you can be an astronaut, you can be a pianist, you can be a financial advisor. Don't be a weirdo. If there's anything you can take from any of my videos or anything I ever say in my life, don't be a weirdo. It is so easy to not be a weirdo. Just keep it cool. Keep it composed. Keep it, keep it, you know, keep meowing it out. You know what I mean? How does that guy not see me? What? Oh, that's another small child. Why, why are these children surprising me? child these children are everywhere they're just like oh hey i'm in the i mean i'm in the fog let me hide in the fog real quick all right 
children in the grass, children in the fog. There's children everywhere. This is not how I wanted to spend my Easter Sunday, is dealing with children hidden in the grass. That was the most annoying grotto I've ever, I, I, I've ever dealt with in my life because the fog and the the whatever move that was where it, it uh, like it lowered the speed but kept it raised the the attack and defense this Alyssa uh, pro trainer not messing around man not messing around not messing around no sir yep that's gonna get me I very well may lose because I don't have enough revives and the fog makes moves miss more often. So it's really just an awesome combination of events. It really is. It's incredible how amazing all these events are. And I don't know why this trainer is so particularly difficult, but it's just difficult enough that it's just making me want to pull my hair out. And so if I use Brine, right, it's not going to land. Light screen, really? Okay. It's probably not going to hit, right? Oh, it did hit that time. Okay. The seven other times I tried to use it, it didn't work. So that's great. Go for a bubble beam. How about this? Thank you for missing. Excellent. Finally, an attack landed. It's about time. The grotto took forever. And the only reason I'm showing the rest of this is because Bobo is absolutely going to evolve into Empoleon, and that's when we really get started. We're getting rocking and rolling now, all right? This is where the fun begins. Hey, Palm, uh, uh, Alyssa's bringing back out a Palm. No, no. No, sorry, Bob. You're all right. Yeah, I have health. Get out of here. Stop being annoyed. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. I'm, I'm a full-fledged Empoleon soon, okay? None of this shocky-chocky. Goodbye. Goodbye, a palm. Take your hands and get off me. And catch these hands at the bank. When I cash out the fat check you're going to give me, Alyssa. Thanks a lot. Always stirring up a problem. 1980. Would you look at this? Bobo's evolving. Who could have thought that one? Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time has a weird sprite in this game. It is Empoleon. He looks like he's giving you the stink eye. He's like... That's what he looks like. He's like, you want to mess with me? Just like that. I nearly did a spasm in my neck while doing that. No, 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 no. I want to learn Aqua Jet. Yes. Aqua Jet is one of the best moves that Empoleon can learn as of right now. It's basically a more... Wait, it's not that... What? User lunges there. Really? Oh, okay. Well, it's the same thing as Bubble Beam, kind of. So I'm going to go with Bubble Beam. Even though this is technically worse damage-wise, it does go first, which is good. And Brine does the same amount of damage, although it has less power points. So it's a little problematic like that. I barely have any health left, and I'm not doing this double battle. I'm not doing it. I'm just not doing it. No, sir. Go. Get me out of here. Nope. I don't want to deal with you either. No. There's way too many ace trainers. I'm not dealing with this. Okay. Look away. Boo. Thank you. Not looking. Just don't make eye contact. No matter what you do in life. Don't make eye contact. That's how you get in trouble. Really? Oh. Oh, I don't want to deal with you. No. I'll super potion up. Look, everyone's dead. Everyone's not having a good time. Let me heal up Tapella as well. Why not? And hopefully, I don't know, man. This one I cannot avoid. But I'm going to skip it on video for time. But, oh. These trainers are really giving me a hard time here. So what I'm probably going to do is go back and re-challenge the trainers and get everyone leveled up and do all the things. Because, man, it's just... It's too much. It, the levels are starting to get matched up pretty well. But overall, it's just being a pain. So, and the fog. Look at this fog. It's totally like... Oh, there's another one. No! I don't want to deal with you. No, child. No, child. No. 
No. No child. Bad child. See the child lurking in the in the shadows? No. Stop it. Stop it. Bam 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 bird Pokemon. Uh oh. Glog is getting Glog is getting pretty high in levels overall. I'm actually kind of excited to see the progress here. And I'm did I make it? Oh, there's another one. I didn't even see you. I didn't even see you. Really? You got three po oh. No. What just happened right there is it, it, it hit me with a grass type move. But because. See, that's a grass. Wait, is Giga Drain a grass type move? No. It's not. Mega Drain is. Giga Drain is a. Uh. Fighting type move? I don't know. But I thought. This is this is going to be so awful. This is going to be horrendous. Look at this. Look at the, look at look at the team on the bottom. What am I going to do? What am I doing with my life? Are you serious? All I can do is peck. And it's super effective. Look how much damage it does. Oh, that actually a critical hit. All right, that's not bad. But normally it does nothing, and because it's ingrained, gains a little bit of health back. So like, what am I going to do? The fog. I need to I need to learn defog is what I really need to do defog is out there and if I don't use it only on this section I could look up a map of where everything is and learn everything right but because I don't have the move the fog won't go away the fog makes it seven quadrillion times harder to hit anything because of the evasiveness and everything else and this thing between the Giga Drain and the healing and the fog is getting away with just enough health and and regaining enough after the after this to make Peck almost redundant. It's just a smidge. Please hit. Are you serious? Okay. This is gonna be fun. Fun, 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 fun. I cannot begin to tell you how awful this route is. It's disgusting. It's disgustingly awful. The fog, it, it, half of my attacks miss, half of their attacks miss. It's incredible. It's incredible how often the fog just, 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 I, I, I want, I'm not going to say it because this is a family friendly program, but mamma mia. The fog really fogs you, you know what I mean? Meow meow. I'm going to go back, right back into it, and I'm going to re-challenge those trainers, level up, and there's a whole slew of trainers I need to go up against, right? Nobody else that I have on my party should be evolving anytime soon, right? Because you need Rock Smash with the, um, the Shiny Stone, uh, uh, you... I forget where I find your thing. I think it's like east or west, whatever direction. So I'm just going to go and level up everyone. I want to thank you all for listening, watching, tuning in. Ten hours of this, I can't believe it. I've been Brian Saviano, Brixo Brian. I'll see you again next time for more Pokemon Platinum Hotness and uh, with uh, some spicy level up soon, all right? And we'll solve the mystery of Cel Cel Celestia Town. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change some moves, too. I got all these TMs. Get all these TN, where are they? Right here? Yeah, I'm going to use these and see what I can do, all right? Talk to you later. Bye.